subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Order, and I'm sure a lot of you who know Apple have already named these in your head from first to last here. And uh, for those of you who got that correct, here's a cookie. Nah, I'm just messing. But a lot of people, contrary to popular belief, think that my favorite iPhone is the SE just because you probably found my channel through this phone or you've seen a ton of videos and that doesn't make it my favorite phone. I simply was answering the question that hundreds, maybe even thousands of people had on that device. It just was pretty popular here. That doesn't make it my personal favorite. And I know some keyboard warriors, some little boys are gonna be, you know, still saying it in this video. This guy's obsessed with the SE. You could shut up and have a cookie because you need one. Anyway, let's go on to my first favorite, which is the iPhone 8 Plus. Now, the iPhone 8 Plus has, uh, you know, take the first spot, and a lot of people are gonna be like, well, are you kidding me, Nick? Seriously, bro? The iPhone 10 is way better than the iPhone 8 Plus, but to each their own, I say, you know, it's personal preference, but the iPhone 8 Plus, because it has a larger screen area, is the main reason why I choose to use this more than the iPhone 10. It's weightier, it's heavier, I don't like that fact, but I do like the fact that most applications are perfectly optimized for the iPhone experience here on the 8 Plus, and uh, having the home button, it's kind of nice to still, you know, have that, you know, classic home button, but that's not a big deal. What the big deal is mostly the screen size. Everything just feels bigger for the iPhone 10. watching this cool documentary, Merchants of Doubt, but it's just, you know, bigger screen is the main reason. Yes, the chunky bezels, I don't really appreciate too much, but at the same time, they give you something to hold on to. And also the fact that, you know, all the plus model iPhones have landscape mode, which is pretty cool. This one's on the, you know, bigger zoomed in aspect. So this one, I don't have the landscape on, but that one will show it in a second. iPhone 8 plus gets the first spot due to mostly its size. And also having this nice red color is a benefit as well second favorite as well of course you see the iphone 10 right here now the iphone 10 makes the second spot due to its comfort in the hand really comfortable and it's beautiful design where the screen comes all the way down to the edge really nice stuff most phones have a chin the iphone 10 says goodbye chin but it does have a pretty decent unibrow up here or whatever you want to call it notch you know what it is it's got a big notch up here bigger than most phones but at the same time it also cuts into your content on many applications especially in photos if we go to a photo right here you can go like this and you see how it cuts in to the content so the notch is not the coolest thing here but it's a necessary step to the all screen design I feel like for Apple. But the iPhone 10 mostly gets second slot because of its OLED screen. I love the Super AMOLED screen. It's just beautiful on an iPhone. It's a lot different from LCD and the inkier blacks make this a joy to use. Plus it's narrow, taller body, makes this probably one of the most comfortable iPhones you can use. But that screen is just not that big in real life compared to kind of how it looks on the video or even compared to an iPhone 8 Plus, which makes me believe that the iPhone 10 Plus is just gonna rock it in sales because I think a lot of people want a bigger version of this phone. And Apple knew what they were doing by releasing the small one first, keep the business going, launch the bigger one next year. Come on, we know what you're doing. But the iPhone 10, second slot, for those reasons battery life better on the 8 plus for me that's why it goes first as well next up is the iphone 7 plus mostly for the same reasons that i like the 8 plus and that is the screen size big surface area and uh the, the reason why i like the 7 plus quite a bit is it's big but it's also light the iPhone 8 Plus is significantly heavier than the 7 Plus, but it does offer wireless charging, something I rarely ever use. But the 7 Plus, almost all the same attributes as the 8 Plus, just a much lighter phone here in this device. Still has that A10 CPU, three gigs of RAM, so it's still a monster in the performance department, and it will be updated for several years to come. So 7 Plus, definitely a thumbs up for me, third favorite iPhone on this list. Number four is surprising, the iPhone 6S Plus. Now the 6S Plus gets the slot because of this guy right here, the headphone jack. That's why it's my number four favorite phone. And again, I just seem to like those plus phones as you've seen throughout this video. It's got the same attributes as the other ones on this list and you know, it gives you a headphone jack. Also, I really liked this silver model just because it kind of felt like the you know 2015 MacBooks and stuff like that. I actually have a 2015 MacBook laptop and this one feels like a great companion to that. It didn't have the dual camera, but 
the single camera on here is almost as good as the 7 plus so very good stuff the only problem i had with the iphone 6s plus was the battery life it has that clicky traditional home button no capacitive here home button for the 6s plus but man the headphone jack is just nice to have on an iphone experience especially considering all the new ones don't have that anymore and i know a lot of people don't really care but the biggest downfall for me with the iphone 6s plus is the single speaker it's pretty tinny here on the 6s plus so let's go ahead and put that down i have to turn this one off because that's severe battery drain but let's go on to the iphone 7 this is my fifth favorite iphone and if you notice something there's two iphone 7s on this list 7 plus and 7 both make it here because they're both fantastic phones now the reason i got this one here is because i really like the 4.7 inch screen it's a really you know compact body and it's still big enough it's not like a tiny screen here for iphone 7 and uh, that's mainly why the 7 gets here you're probably asking why not the 8 and mostly because the iphone 8 is a slightly heavier than this phone and i tend to prefer very light phones except for you know these two right here these are you know 180 and 202 grams I, I just tend to prefer a featherweight phone and the iphone 7 and 8 are almost the same phone just the 7 is a little bit lighter and it has this nice matte black color here and has more color options than the iphone 8 also what i really liked about the 7 was the 3d touch just felt a little bit more refined especially when you know you were pressing it, it has like this little haptic feedback that just felt better than on the 6s series so great little phone here there are some downsides i don't like the resolution 326 pixels per inch definitely is noticeable when you compare it to other devices i don't like again that this one doesn't have a headphone jack and the bezels are again pretty large for a 4.7 but still super compact super light super easy to use it's a great upgrade for people that you know wanted a bigger iphone but had like an iphone se for example and lastly on my list of my favorite iphones in order this is my last favorite the iphone se so i talked about it earlier not being my number one favorite it's actually my least favorite but it's still in my favorites mostly because it's a great pocket phone for when i go doing some cycling or i go doing some running or i just need something very you know inconspicuous something that's just out of the way here and i could just cover in my hand i want to see people seeing my phone this this phone's got a lot of benefits i mean it could be you sometimes you barely know it's in your pocket though because it's so light and tiny that you're like where's my phone you're like reaching for it. oh my god did i lose it that, that happens a lot for the iphone se for me anyway i don't know if you guys experienced that as well and uh the design i really like the design i always thought apple should have brought this design to the larger iphone it would have been nice to see that uh this design there but now this design is starting to look even older more classic but at 130 bucks to get into the ios ecosystem this is the cheapest way you're going to get in in the iphone se and it's still pretty fast it's holding its own with this a9 cpu and i think this is actually holding up better than the iphone 5s did for its time so the iPhone SE is a still a very fast phone. We will be covering it on iOS 12, and it makes my last favorite iPhone due to its portability and pocketability in the size department. And it has pretty good battery life for a tiny phone like that. Anyway, that is my favorite iPhones in order. The iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10, 7 Plus, 6S Plus, 7, and iPhone SE. You might have noticed that the iPhone 8 was missing from this list as well as the 6s the smaller one they didn't make the list because i'm more into the plus phones personally i got big hands you see these big old hands and uh, that's about it so i got a question for you which is your favorite iphone is it here on this table is it not what is your favorite iphone comment that down below which iphone are you using or which iphone are you planning on getting this fall this feedback is important because it helps me to decide what i'm going to bring to the channel as well and if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me and if you're new here consider subscribing for more i got plenty of videos on all these iphones